Hey guys, it's Ping and we're out here at Fox Raceway. We're getting our first ride on our first 22. It's the Suzuki RMZ 250. Absolutely nothing new for 22. So rather than do a whole introduction and all that, we're gonna just jump right to our race spec video. Uh, we haven't done one on this motorcycle and the great news is this information is good for anyone who's bought one of these in the last decade roughly. So it's gonna be a very useful video. Uh, and this bike, I actually love the way it feels. It's very, the corner's great, it's very playful. Um, not the fastest motor, but it's still super fun. And the, the one kicker with this bike is the suspension. It's not necessarily handling, because the chassis is good, it wants to handle. The suspension settings are just such that it uh, does not feel great when you initially ride it. So that's what we really focused on today. To be honest with you, throw the lean coupler on, uh, if you want to play with their mapping program, you can. It's it's very, very subtle changes. The lean coupler does a good job of, of running in a for a pretty wide range of people. Uh, and past that, there isn't much to do to this bike in terms of changing setup rather than just find something you're comfortable with. Really, it all focuses on the suspension. So we're going to dive right into that. And we had Kaipo and Ryan from KYB come out today. These guys have been huge helping us uh, in past project builds. Anything KYB related, they come out and they can really help us make sense of why bikes are working the way they are and what we do to fix them. And today was no different. Uh, so this bike has a very harsh feel to it. You're always down into a part of the valving that just feels firm. And it doesn't matter what you do, you can't, you can't fix it. And the problem is uh, it's oversprung. Bottom line, unless you were close to 200 pounds or more, and in which case, maybe you can get the stock springs to work. That's not the case for most guys who buy a 250. Usually it's 150 to 185, this kind of the sweet spot, maybe even lighter. And so all we did today is just went down to lighter spring settings to get some more comfort out of it. Uh, so I'll tell you what we did here. The stock fork is a 5.0 Newton spring, and we went to a 4.9. Seems like a simple enough fix. And then on the shock, it's a 52 Newton spring. We went to a 50 Newton. First got on the track with it and right away, I'm like, okay, it feels better. It, the suspension's actually working. Uh, we did have a couple of little things we adjusted. So compression standard is 11 and uh, we're, we're at eight out now. So we went in a little bit to kind of firm that up on the fork. Uh, rebound is 12 is standard, we went to 10. Okay, so it was a little quick feeling, like the wheel was not tracking with the ground. We just slowed that down two clicks, firmed up that compression because we went to a softer spring. That's gonna allow it to work a little better. We went in a, a few clicks on the compression and I got really happy. On the shock, high speed compression, standard is 14, we went to 18. Low speed compression is 14, we went to 12. High speed tension, 14, low speed tension, 16. We didn't change those. One other thing we did do, 105 to 107 is kind of the recommended sag on this. But because we were still having this condition of, of the fork wanting to dive a little bit, we added a little bit more sag. So we went to 110. And the way Kaipo was explaining it, you can get away with that on the Suzuki because this, this chassis is set up to really turn well, right? That's a, a Suzuki characteristic and trait that's gone on forever. And because it's it's so it's got more front end bias to really be able to turn well, you can bring that back end down a little lower. Whether that's through high speed compression, opening that up, or just sag, uh, but you can get that back to squat a little more, and not affect the way it turns. On a lot of bikes, if you if you squat it too low and chopper it out, that front end just doesn't want to turn in. The Suzuki will still turn, so you're able to run a little bit more sag if you need it. For us, that was a sweet spot. 110 on the sag just those couple of, of clicker changes and man we were right in the sweet spot this thing handled actually really well i could no problem go race this at a local level the way it is at my speed vet whatever i am and be totally fine so i gotta believe that if you are anywhere between 135 pounds and 185 pounds which is going to be the bulk of the people buying this bike this setup will get you really close you may be a clicker or two on the compression firmer or softer, depending on your weight, I'm 170. But this is gonna work. Uh, try this spring change before you go spending the money to send it in and have it revalved. This is the answer, it's just over sprung. Because like I said, the, the valve, the, the performance of it is actually pretty good once the spring rate's right. 
So uh, I hope that helps you. Again, there wasn't anything else we wanted to change on this bike. When I got done with that, I, I said, yeah, I this is a great bike. I have a lot of fun riding it. I would re I would replace the stock grips. That would be the other thing I'd do right away. They wore my hands raw and gave me a blister. But as far as performance, that's all you need. And you know, you'll hear a lot of people, there's a lot of crap talk on this bike because it hasn't changed, but this thing still won a lot of races, this platform. It's a great bike. You can get them on really good deals right now. And if you have one that's this model, which has been gone on for a while now, it's the same issue with the suspension. Throw those different springs in, you'll be very, very glad you did. You'll enjoy the bike a lot more. Whether you're riding off-road or motocross, doesn't matter. Uh, you will appreciate it. So thanks for tuning in. I appreciate Fox Raceway for letting us come out today and have some fun. And a uh, big thank you to Kaipo and Ryan for coming out. A uh, lot of experience between those two, and uh, it, it paid off for us today. So hopefully it helped you as well. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.